star Charlie DeMar was there and spoke with people who were inside the ceremony when the shots were fired. He's live from Advocate Christ Medical Center where some of the victims are being treated. Charlie? Joe, good evening. The Salvation Army in Blue Island was filled with family and friends of a 19-year-old woman who was shot and killed earlier this month in Chicago. Her family says they believe today's shooting was retaliation. A celebration of life came to a tragic end around 3.30. Mayhem. And, you know, just broke out. Police say... <laughs> ...into the Blue Island Salvation Mayhem. Army, where a repast service was being held for Princess Jemiah Bell, who died earlier this month in a separate shooting. We were here... Uh... So this girl got smoked. And wow. at her memorial three people get shot at her memorial that's crazy yo this community is fucking shit man but if you if you haven't taken the five dollar challenge this week friday it would be a good day to take the five dollar challenge man on a friday i mean to to think of this happening in any other community it's absurd Maybe the Umbrella community, and even then, too. Maybe, yeah, even that would be a little bit surprising. The fact that know. this girl got shot, man, is, is I think that that right there, the fact that she got shot in the street and murdered in the street, and it's not like, The only shooting that happened in like that we, that that year, like well, like if this was a white town, that would be the only shooting that happened that year. Yeah, probably. And it would be like a crazy event. Like it would have been like it would have like pumped the brakes. Like everything would have stopped. Maybe yeah. 10 people got shot that, that day. With the day she got shot in this city, maybe 10 people got shot that day. 20 people. This Chicago, it was like that day was like 30 people. <laughs> <dog>. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Salute to Deluxe 247, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP coming through once again. Who died earlier this month in a separate shooting. We were here uh memorializing my granddaughter, Jemiah Bell. She was shot and she succumbed to a wound. Kenneth Allison was inside the Salvation Army when the shots were fired. Police say a concealed carry holder at the service fired back at the shooters. At least three people were wounded in an exchange of gunfire. There's a lot of young people and they're upset because my granddaughter, you know, they, they loved her. And then of course, some of her friends are one in revenge so i guess this is all retaliation from that as police frantically searched for the shooters officers could be seen running towards a potential suspect moments later a man was put in handcuffs and it's always tragic uh and it's it's always sad and when you see these incidents uh, layer on top of each other um the, uh, and if it is if it is indeed a retaliatory incident we do not know for sure yet this area has, has has seen too many of these and it's always tragic and it's always sad glenn holt says he rushed to pick up his son from a nearby daycare the daycare did a good job of putting the kids on lockdown and things like that making sure all the children were safe and along with bell an 18 year old acquaintance of hers was also shot and killed in that shooting Wow. Earlier this month. Meanwhile, two of the victims from today's shooting are being treated for minor injuries. We are told that one of the shooting victims is being treated for a critical injury. We are live tonight from Advocate, Advocate Christ Medical Center. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, what? She was in the streets, bro. I bet. Yeah, if she nah, had I mean, people willing to retaliate for her. She was a yeah, nerd. She was, just, retaliate she was just in this uh hood blog with all the little, little, the little hood boogers with guns. She talking crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was just doing that, and then she got killed. But she got killed, be uh, they was probably at, mainly aiming at the dude she was with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I believe. I, yeah, I believe. Um, Did you work that case? Well, no, nah, this is not my area, but I, I did, um, you know, I know about it. 
Right. Yeah. She was around and down. She was with the shit, man. They, she was, she was um a thug missus, man. Yeah, salute, salute yeah. to, to to my black queens. They always holding us down when we doing the dirt. We always got somebody to come home to. Salute to y'all. You hey. appreciate it. Man, they love us, man. Can't nobody say everywhere. Look at them queens right there and down Wakanda, though. You see it? that bonnet queen? Yeah, yeah. they run the world, bro. Tell you, bro. you saw that, Dre. You saw that, Dre. Yeah, don't be talking about. Don't be talking about my my four ice queens, man. Watch it out. <laughs> no, I ain't lying to you. <laughs> lying to hey, you. hey, as I was watching them do that interview, I was looking to see if they had like vacation love property out there. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. Dead ass. Seen two children Wednesday. Oh yeah, man. And then there's a scene that left people in a Franklin neighborhood terrified. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Shad. Home surveillance cameras on North Fleet Street caught a man chasing two children Wednesday. He was armed with a knife, and if it weren't for a brave but calm response, the situation may have ended differently. Michelle Wolf has a story you'll see only on 10. Terrell Majet was sitting on his front porch talking with his brother. Suddenly, a little boy and girl came running towards them. I was sitting on my steps here, and uh, the little girl, she said, there's a man chasing us with a knife. Majette tells us the boy ran home while the girl what, ran up what? onto his porch, terrified. Instantly, I went in the house, and I grabbed my firearm, and I came outside. And as soon as I stepped on my porch, my brother was telling me from the car, he's saying, hey, bro, he's he's charging, he's charging. Uh, Majette's doorbell camera caught the exchange. Hey, 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 go, go, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Go back. Ain't nobody over here. Got you. Go back. Go back that way. Excuse go me. Go back that way. Can I come in your house? Yes. Come on. Please go come back on. that way. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Phone. no, no, no. We're okay. Come go on. back down to your place. You feel safe? Yes, I'm safe. You it's got a knife in your hand. You got a knife in your hand. I'm at my house. Go back home. Going into protection mode. Going into father mode. That was that was the first thing. Ajat's wife, Rachel, ushered the child inside as she called 911. She was shaking up. She was uh, crying. And by the time she got home, I think she was still crying, her grandma said. 10 on your side obtained additional doorbell video that clearly shows the man with the knife trying to charge at the children next door, then begins stabbing at the ground. The last thing I wanted to do was harm him or see him harm any one of these kids. I was robbed at gunpoint in 2019 in Atlanta, and uh, it, mm. it shook me to the core. So I've been, you know, dealing with that and being clinically diagnosed with PTSD from uh, the VA. You know, when she came up, all I could think about was if it was my child, what would I do? The incident report from Franklin police revealed the man to be 29 years old and known to police. He was taken to a nearby hospital. Majette could not have asked for a better outcome, given the stressful situation. You know, I'm just glad I was able to maintain my composure and, no, and de-escalate no, the situation. The children who were chased were not. Mm. Hey, man, shout out to that son, man, yo. He used, yeah. he exercised every ounce of composure. Yo, mad respect to that, bro. Yeah. Hey, uh, What's up? If you want to see old girl alive in one of her last videos, the video is under, is on YouTube, 70th and Ada, and then go, it's like a blog, and go to like the three minute and 50 seconds. 70th? Yeah, 70th, space, and then Ada, A-D-A, and then it should be a word from the trenches, and go to like the three minutes and 50 seconds. Word from the trenches, this one? Yeah, this that's one. her right there. Oh, she a little oh, hitty. Wow. Damn, I need to drive. That's her. Oh, right there. That's her. Uh oh. 
Oh Lord. Don't put that in that box. Uh, what's the wall? I trust this. Coming in hot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. What we got with it, man? Man, you know, stick ass shit, man. Send me if they ate it on phone now. Stick in. Yo. No doubt. Yeah, this out block. Hell yeah, this our shit. Stick me to the code. STC. Yeah, this Inglewood. Yeah, this Inglewood. Yeah. I'm, I'm Lil' Jay. This Bunker. Hey, I got my, sick, I got my do it in the bag. Wayne, you already know a whole lot of eight ball, Bro, GMB, CMB, CVG shit. Shout out to them. You know, we, we from right here all the way to the eight to the O. You already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know see them pull them down now. You see them eights and them strict down. Oh, uh, tell me. You said, you said, it's, no, it's, it's called who? Strict? Strict. Yeah, with the talk. Strict in. Strict in. Yeah, strict. I mean, they, they don't talk like this when they're not on camera, though. But they talking like, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? They talking like, you know, like gang shit, like extra yeah. flowers. Yeah, 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 they own it. They own it. They own it a little bit. I mean, y'all really do it. Oh, yeah. We, we from 69th to 7th. What is D.A.D. in that? Would we think that these are real? I don't you know who, who they I thought they were. Oh. Uh, remember, I think I told you about it. Uh, man, this we ain't trying to do this. Hey, this right here is folding. This is strict shit. I ain't doing none of that. None of that. Ain't none of that hoop shit. This war who used to be right here. This strict num shit. Hey, he ain't lying. And them ace be with them. That's, 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 yeah, but you thought you thought we were 70, 70, 30, yeah. 80? The weed spot. I know, nah, but look, the weed spot, that's family. Oh, fun that's family. Uh, Shout out to those five, man. You know, that's family for sure. Look, actually, when we go down to the block, you gonna see that. Y'all gonna, y'all gotta get y'all gotta get Yeah. She dead. She dead. Yeah. Yeah. dead, dead. Mm. Um, life, not life, nah. She, she probably think about how much trouble she done fucking. Third up shit. And how much trouble she done, how many dudes she done got hit at. Set up right and now. shit, right? She probably was getting niggas back door, all types of shit, bro. Yeah, or if she just get in an argument with you, she just be like, man, I had some niggas come kill you, nigga. You fucking yeah. old fucker I ain't be with da 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 da. And be literally telling the truth, man. Like honestly, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get in here too. <laughs> Hello, you got my bestie now, best. Yeah, my cutie. Hey, I'm coming. We out here. We out here. Yeah. I know. I've been out here for a couple, couple years, couple years. Stay yeah, yeah. out this, here. This Asia, you know, so we know we be out here. Yeah. We got, you know, what's up? You already know. You already know. This is my fucking oh, brother. Yeah. That's my brother. Yeah, we are brothers in this shit. Roll up. Roll out. Damn, I love that shit. You know, nigga. Like he said, like he said it's one of your woods. The whole strip. It's fun. Look at him. Fun of ass. Tweaking. That's my doings. My stupid ass doings. That hot ass guy over there. But, um, like I said, for this whole strip, this whole strip. Don't go here now. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been, to, it's been to one way. It's been to one way. It's been to one way. Motherfuckers been not playing crazy on this bitch. For now, I haven't posted it today. Every fucking day, day. So I'm gonna, gonna play they blocks. Like, so, niggas hold. Hey, look, I ain't even gonna speak on to all that. But we, my boys live on the block. My boys live on this block. So, hey, we got every house. Like, man, niggas, I know every car over here. Can't nobody get up on us. Can't nobody get up on us. Make sure he put it in park. Uh oh, you, you right on the hmm. middle. You right. I always thought this shit was retarded, bro. You sitting yeah, in the middle word. of your block and you got ops, bro. Like, yeah, yep, man. That was her, man. Mm. 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 You know that's unfortunate because for real, for real, Shorty, she just wanna, she just wanna be a girl. She just wanna like fit in. She just want attention from the guys. But this is the shit that she gotta like expose herself to. Man, stop sipping, man. Stop sipping, man. She, she is definitely she, sipping. Wow. Like, man, she's sipping. What, like, what else is she going to do, though, man? 
You said I what really else is she gonna know, do? Bro. What ninety yeah. percent of the girls do? Go to college. Hey, nah, nah, some women. Nah, go some women. Go to college, get dumbass degrees, and become a fucking uh, uh, uh a defense a attorney teacher. or a activist. A teacher. Or a teacher, bro, right? These the niggas that's lit in, in the in the neighborhood. Yeah, so, man. I mean, naturally, bro. They, we women are gonna gravitate. That's <laughs> what they do, right? They the cool niggas. They the they the, you ever say they the tough niggas, man? Yeah, Come on, man. This biological. Bro, bro she nineteen. It's, bro, it's biological, yeah, bro. They can't fight this on like a... high school, bro. They can't fight this on like all her other friends in high school. A lot of uh, black women in the hood. They go to college, bro. A lot of them. Yeah, of course. And then there's her. She hmm. made that choice. She, she ain't had no kids. But even in college, though, you so even in college, you don't think that some of them, are, a good number of them, are making the same choices. They was at my college. I uh, make probably not George, but in my college, they was making the same choices. They was going to college and fucking with the local hood niggas around that yeah. city. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought happened. But all right, she was yeah, just I trying to fit in. That's, those niggas are the tough guys. I mean, but by that logic, then all the dudes is trying to fit in. Everybody trying to fit in. It's it's decisions you make. It's 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 like this. Like that girl right there. She she probably is a whole piece of shit if you meet her. Like if you a dude from another neighborhood and you date her, like she'll probably steal from you and shit like that, or probably you know. <laughs> You know I'm saying to talk crazy to you because she knows she got them niggas behind her, but she don't yeah. know that you got niggas too, and that's probably what happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like everybody right. got niggas, but um, yeah, she girls like that think their niggas is the only ones that got guns or the only right. ones that are. Right. She was uh, she was in a car with one of their shooters, though. That's what really happened. Yeah, yeah. especially but, if they see some shit like. Like if, if they see if like if they on the block and if niggas come through dumping and they survive or they just see niggas boy, niggas with a bunch of guns that make hoes like that arrogant man and make yeah. them real arrogant and real like yeah. ghetto snotty like not snotty like um girls from Beverly Hills but snotty like hood bitches hood snotty bitches be ready to fuck yeah. hey, into hey. life. And Chicago is like in a whole different like thing with like uh like these hood bitches now. You know how like the hood dudes, whatever, those shooters and shit, they basically get famous off of like social media, blah blah this. All these hood bitches are famous off of all these teen trends and shit. They the ones that be like basically organizing it. So when she got killed, she was literally it was like a celebrity went down. One of the like the one of the leaders of the ratchet bitches went down. Mm. Right. Yeah. So everybody wow. knew her. Like soon as she got killed, everybody was like, "Man, I just saw her on that blog, man." Yeah, we was kicking it at the bean doing the team trend. Da, 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 da. Like Ooh. everybody knew her. Wow. I imagine her father is heartbroken. I'm telling you, man. Her father, she probably. Hey, yo, I've been listening. Well, he I killed two people. <laughs> But yo, I be hearing some of them like them young chicks rap, especially from the Midwest, some out in Chicago. Like them chicks, man. Them chicks, they like the first rappers to really kind of like scare me. Like I don't listen to a lot of deranged, demented rap music. None of it really scared me. But these new chicks, like, the way they talk, it's like, yo, it's scary. Your mic is your mic is scary, man. What happened to your mic, man? Your mic ain't never sounded like this. Uh, 